Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today, I'm going to be using these handmade black and pink dice that were given to me by Crit Dice. Thanks. Let's get it started with our roll for bread. Two freezer ends. Still working my way through this frozen loaf of American pumpernickel. We're going to bust out our toasting can trip and get our slices ready to go. Next up, let's roll for Maine. Nine, pepperoni. First pumpernickel and now pepperoni. Both ingredients that start with a P. Perhaps our prosperity will persist. All right, let's roll for some cheese. Three, provolone. Provolone with pumpernickel and pepperoni probably won't be problematic. Perhaps I'm a prophet, but possibly I'm purely a pea brain. Let's roll for some roughage. Five, lettuce and 11, none. The lettuce I had was spoiled, so I took an emergency trip to Arby's. They are not a sponsor, but they did graciously put the lettuce on the side for my chicken wrap. So now we are putting this very thinly shredded Arby's lettuce on our sandwich. Next up, let's roll wild magic. 19, kimchi seasoning. All right, we're gonna be applying some of this Soul Sisters kimchi seasoning to our sandwich. It'll add a little spice, a little umami, some tanginess. Honestly, not too bad of a roll, I think. And last but not least, the D20 sauce roll. Here we go. Another 19, cool enough for you. Recently, the Colorado-based ska band Five Iron Frenzy, who I've been a fan of since I was a little kid, released a pack of hot sauces, one of which is this cool enough for you mild lime hot sauce. I think that alongside the kimchi seasoning, this should actually go pretty well. And make lettuce into kind of a little bit of a spicy slaw almost. All right, let's go ahead and put our sandwich together here. Get our toothpicks in to hold it together. And let's get it cut in half. And let's pick it up, pick it up, pick it up and take a look at that cross section. Looks pretty good to me. Well, this definitely on paper seems like a pretty inoffensive sandwich, especially for a Monday. I will definitely take sandwiches like this when I can get them. Let's give it a taste. Yeah, pretty good. Hard to mess up pepperoni and provolone. It's a little lacking in the roughage department, but these kimchi spices and the hot sauce kind of make up for that a little bit and go well with the pepperoni and cheese. Not earth shattering by any means, but again, pretty good. In case you haven't seen it yet, I posted a video this Saturday that's worth checking out. It's pinned to the top of my profile right now. You should check it out after this video. For today's sandwich, I'm gonna go with an 8.1 and I'm gonna call it the Pep Band. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you again on Wednesday.